to Zombie Zoology. I'm Zombie Zebra, in case you don't recognize me, which you may not because I haven't posted in a very long time. And I've changed my hair twice since then. New hair tour. It is a uh red at the roots, then got some purple, and then we go to blue. I'm very proud of it, did it myself, but I'm wearing a hat today because it's very humid where I am, which is Mexico. I'm in Mexico. Very excited about it, as you may be able to tell. I wanted to take you guys on this trip with me for just a little bit, so I have vlogged some of the experience. Hey guys, it is about four o'clock in the morning. I got off work at midnight, and at six, I am leaving the house to catch a plane for Mexico. So that's really exciting. I'm planning to vlog and make some videos while I'm there. I know I've been gone for a bit. The uh, kind of just the fact of life when you have a chronic illness is that you can't always do everything you want to be doing. So that's unfortunate, but I am back and hoping to make more videos. So, I just wanted to film this quick little intro while I'm putting off sleeping. Ready to go! Later on this week, I'm going to be posting both a review of the Generations Riviera Maya for chronically ill and disabled people as far as accessibility, things like that, and I'm also going to be posting my personal tips for traveling with a chronic illness. Now this is the first trip I have really kind of enjoyed in several years because my health has been getting worse, and this is the first trip I've really had all my diagnoses and all the understandings I need to better take care of myself on vacation. So both kind of through this vlog and through my tips video and through my review, you'll get a good sense of what I do on vacations to still enjoy myself. Now, I'm gonna insert footage of what my room looks like here. Zombie Zebra's room door. This is what rooms look like at the Generations Riviera Maya. Yeah, room door. This trip has been really amazing because part of the whole reason I stopped posting in the first place is my health kind of started getting worse right as work got busier. Now I'm super grateful for where I work because we've just expanded which means I am getting more hours which I need and I'm so grateful but the combination of my health getting worse and more work meant I didn't have a lot of time for my more extracurricular activities you could say. So I kind of had to stop making videos for a bit just because I didn't have the spoons but now I am back. This vacation has given me a chance to recharge and recover, and I am feeling good physically. I am excited to get back to work, and I think I'm going to be able to manage my schedule well enough to upload and work and do some of the other artsy creative things I enjoy doing. So look forward to me posting more even after these next three vacation videos. I hope you'll come along with me. Room tour part two, bathroom edition. Room tour part two, bathroom edition, with Zombie Zebra at Generations Riviera Maya. Friends, look at this view. Is this not the most insane view you have ever seen? I love this view so much. So a girl came up to me and was like, I love your hair and the shirt you were wearing at breakfast. So stalkers are getting nicer. Guys, I can normally figure out what these little uh, towel sculptures are. I'm normally pretty good at it. Like I've had a swarm, I've had an octopus, but I, for the life of me, cannot figure this one out. Is it just like a... A towel snake? That seems like the balloon animal snake of towel folding to me, but I could be wrong. In the comments down below, what in the world is this? Can anyone advise? Please advise. Never mind, figured it out. It's totally a swan that had fallen over. Mystery solved. Congratulations if you said Swan that had too much to drink in the comments below. Look at that pretty handsome little devil with uh, carrying a rose for me. I'm honestly probably gonna go bathe in these rose petals now. Bye! Mm -hmm.
so I know I showed you guys what my room looked like when I got here. So I wanted to show you what I have done to it since then. First we have my bed, not too bad because they make it every day. I just got done filming, which is why there's a seated pillow in the middle of my bed. But uh, that's my, my trusty memory foam pillow. This is my awful nightstand. That is, you can see the vomit bag there. That's lovely, isn't it? Don't we all travel with lots of vomit bags? I keep a laundry bag here, just because that's easier to separate out dirty clothes than shove it all in at the end. Uh, and this is actually where I was just filming my video. I had to stack it on an ironing board and then lots of books to get it angled high enough. Here's my view. It's a little shrouded in the, the curtains right now, but you can, you can see. It's pretty nice. I'm a pretty big fan. I can only use this thing plugged into the wall, which is why I'm standing right here. Oh, vomit bag number two. See it right there? Dirty clothes because I'm classy. And uh, yeah, okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it was. You can also see my med trays on my other, my other nightstand. Classic spoony move. Let's do a quick what's in my bag. How does that sound? Um, so first we have the chocolate croissant that I stole from breakfast because I'm a champ. Yeah, I'm the worst. Uh, we have the vomit bag you saw earlier. I have my, uh, my keys with, this is, this is so that you punch better, you can like, or you make a better fist. And also this is a pressure point, like you can hit people in the temples. In any place there's a pressure point, you can, brr, that's great. All about protection. And I have a second pair of headphones that I took before we left. Hepsid, classic gastroparesis, along the lines of self-defense. Have my knife, because I'm a scary 22 year old. And people scare me, so I made myself scary. This one's really pretty and rainbow, and I like it. I've got my black lip gloss. And Beta Jest helps me to digest stuff better. Better, like, like Beta Jest, Beta. It helps me digest stuff Beta. Get it? Get it? And I make that joke literally every time I talk about this drug, and I don't think it's ever gotten a laugh once, but I refuse not to. I also have like six reminder appointment cards and I'm not gonna actually like show you what it is because I'd give away too much personal information, but I don't know what office thinks that their appointment reminder cards are actually gonna remind me to come to an appointment until they start talking and are like, hey, thanks, you've got a gyno today. I'm not gonna know. I put it in my phone. I never see the appointment reminder cards except for when I'm cleaning out my bag. Useless, so useless. I'm sure they help some people. They just, they don't help me. They're not helpful to me. So um, that's my quick little what's in my bag. Did I miss anything? Okay, this'll, at the end of the video, I'm going to do a little thing in the comments. So I'm gonna try and get you guys to guess where I work or at least what my job is. And another clue to that that you guys can have for free is I have lots of name tags in my purse, lots of used name tags. So keep that in mind moving forward. Now I've gotta go because we're about to go to dinner. Um, I'll see you guys soon. So I just came back to my room and my last uh, towel sculpture is here. I'm very, very excited to present the one, the only, Mr. Gator. Those are my sunglasses. I am so excited. I am unreasonably excited about this gator that is on my, uh, on my bed right now. I'm probably going to leave him there and try and just sleep around him, but uh, this is my last night, so later, Gator. I have discovered a, the key to a good vacation is interacting with others as little as possible. Now, I don't mean like people you come with, family is great and all that. I just mean like the other guests, because people on vacation, you know, they're really dead set on enjoying themselves, and that's totally fine, but People on vacation, their worlds tend to revolve around them. And that's fair. But it can get annoying sometimes. Like today, we're on the fifth floor. 
and it's fine because there are elevators but it is really hot outside um, and we are kind of at the far end of a hallway so by the time I actually got down by the pool when I wanted to go swimming today I was having some heart palpitations I was having some blood pooling uh, and just generally I wasn't handling the heat well so I wanted to actually like lay down on the side for a second before I got into the pool because swimming is a really exerting activity and I wanted to make sure I wasn't immediately gonna freak my body out and do something stupid so I laid down at the first open beach chair I saw. Now these are really hard to get sometimes because people will just like, when they go down for breakfast, throw their stuff on a beach chair and then leave it there all day so that the one hour when they're in the pool they make sure they have somewhere to be. I don't think that's okay. I think people should just lay at beach chairs and then when they're done with them, leave the beach chair. But you know, I don't run the world and these people are trying to enjoy their vacation so that's fine. But I lay on the first open beach chair I see and like within a minute, like a minute, this, uh, this dude comes up to me, swimming up to me even, and he starts saying something, but I can't understand him, partially because he's swimming, so he's like splashing while he's saying stuff, but also, you know, there are kids playing, there's music playing, there's a bar right next to us, where he has just come from, by the way, um, so I, I couldn't hear him, so it took me two or three tries to be like, oh, sorry, like, what are you saying? I I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you. But, so I was already like embarrassed that I had to ask him to repeat himself three times or whatever, and finally I hear him say, that's our beach chair. Which already is more aggressive than anyone needs to be about a beach chair. Especially one that isn't being used. If I weren't so just like hot and not wanting to deal with stuff and in pain, I would have said, oh really? It's your beach chair you own, this freaking beach chair. It's not, you know, Joe Martinez's beach chair, the owner of the freaking resort. No, it's your. It is your beach chair. You good sir, you dragged this beach chair from Australia, where you seem to be from. You dragged this beach chair from Australia to put it in this pool of identical beach chairs. This is your beach chair, huh? But I didn't say that because I didn't want to fight anyone. I don't know, I should have said it. I should have fought him. Instead, I was just really embarrassed. Like. I'm sorry there wasn't anything on it, at which point he grabbed a towel off of another chair, threw it on that chair, and said, happy? Dude, I've already apologized to you, which I didn't need to do in that situation. You don't need to get sassy with me. <sighs> now, I wish I were a little more confrontational because this would probably be a much more interesting story if I had actually said, this isn't your freaking beach chair. But, he could have taken me to fight, and people scare me, so that wasn't gonna happen. Ah! The part that really pissed me off is that after I got up and was like, oh, I'm sorry, let me apologize to you for using this beach chair that is kind of public property to all of us guests of this resort, the best part is that then, he didn't even sit in it. It wasn't even like he came over and was like, hey friend, I need to sit in this beach chair and you are sitting in it. Even that, I'd be like, okay, that is fine. You may sit in this beach chair. Whatever, go for it. It's all yours. I'm a kind soul, I'm a generous soul, but he didn't. He, I, he kicked me out of his beach chair and then went back over to the bar with his friends. Do you see what I'm dealing with here, guys? Do you see? Do you understand? You don't own beach chairs! You don't! I'm sorry! I'm not sorry! I shouldn't have been sorry! I shouldn't have said sorry to you! Pool, bar, beach chair man! I shouldn't have said sorry then! I'm not gonna say sorry now! I actually wish I were a little meaner to you, but I am anxiously polite to people in public, so you are lucky! And that's my thoughts about beach chairs. Okay, okay, here is fun game. So, some of you may know me in real life. If you do, do not ruin. If you don't know me in real life, you will notice I have not talked about where I work. But where I work is really fun, so I want to play a little game. I am going to give you three, three clues about where I work, and I want you to give best guess in comments down below about the, about where you think I work. So first, this accent is very important. I use it a lot at work, quite a bit, quite a bit. Um, I also use lots of blue eyeshadow. I go through lots of blue eyeshadow at work. 
and also fake blood. I use lots of fake blood at work. So those are three things you know about what I do at work, kind of my work uniform, work, all of that. So you know these things, now you make guess. You tell me in comments below where you think I work, I make video next week and tell you, okay? This is exciting. So if you already know, please don't ruin it down in the comments, don't give it away, but if you don't, you should try and guess. It'll be very fun. I want to know what you think involves this accent, blue eyeshadow and fake blood. Okay? Okay. Sounds good. Have fun. Have a good day and until next time, hoard those spoons, guys. <laughs>